come man of the masses. They do even no one make person talk. Hmm. Them say that my egun, that man do they talk? He do they talk? Say my egun diary, he they hot like pepper. But every day then they take money in buck. One man picking get the street they hawk. Still them talk say make we no talk. But thank God say my egun don't come. So my people make you laugh. Oh yeah yeah, my egun don't come. Oh yeah yeah, my people make you shout. Oh yeah yeah. Hello there. My eguna wa mo la mo do 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 do. My eguna ya ru ka yi bi ka wa. My eguna wa mo la mo do 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 do. My eguna ya ru ka yi bi ka wa. My eguna ti de o o le arai. My eguna ya ru ka yi bi Glory Facebook, glory YouTube. My good diary, my good number one. Your promotion, Lord, in my good galaxy. My good diary, my good number one. Good morning to you, good afternoon to you, and good evening to you from wherever you are watching from. This is my good thank you so much for joining me again tonight and as you are joining remember to share the broadcast okay invite your friends invite your not so friendly friends and just tell them that my ego today. Lagos Abobakus, Oshogu Alimajiris, the crumb eaters, the crumb chasers, the ass lickers, the all right sass. You see, all of you now will be social media banditi and Facebook ads many. But idioti, but study, the cyber variancy, and the rest of your clan. This broadcast is for you because those of you who have become highest goal scorers when it comes to bigotry, especially those of you that love to masturbate in public. You begotted the uh, sewage rats that suddenly would develop uh, hyperventilation the moment they mentioned Igbo. There is more to worry about now because many of you weirdies who are beginning to turn uh, your defense for Tifnumbu, APC, for your slavery. You are turning that into Defense for Yoruba land. The Oriburukus that you are becoming like a champions in. You better get ready. You see these ones that is about to start, eh? Hmm. You will realize that the Igbos are not going to be your worry any longer. They want power. And suddenly, the bombing or killing in the part of the north has now triggered them. The era of a good luck at Berry Jolantan is upon you. You should please get ready. Northern Nigeria, they have rejected. The apology of the Nigerian army over the bombing that they call the mistake bombing. An eyewitness gave this account, which is now suddenly eh, 
as triggered reactions. Oh, what do I mean? Gist plenty tonight. As the Rawani as, as they are bringing the GST, you just they follow me. Are you listening? Eh? If I turn left, turn left. If I turn right, turn right. Don't ask any question because load the ground tonight. Lagos Abobakus, whether you like me or you don't like me, this is also going to help your own mental health too. Shongbo, share the broadcast. <laughs> So good morning to you, good afternoon to you, and good evening to you from wherever you are watching from. Of course, this is Mayegu, and it is Mayegu live. Remember to share this broadcast. Read the caption of the broadcast yourself. The description, which is the body. Read that too. Like the broadcast before you get busy in the comment section tonight. Thank you. Now let the gist start. I have told you this before. Hmm? When people talk about journalism, journalism is, you say, reporting, Abi. Reporting is storytelling. And the advantage that we have on Mayegun's Diary Political almost every evening is that it is not always hard hmm, to have an idea wherever whatever they cooked in secrets eh, and playing out piece by piece on Mayegun's Diary Political, we will put the pieces together. You have a clearer understanding. You may have your doubts. That's okay. But your doubts or your doubts on anything you get on Mayogun's Diary Political is going to help you, okay, to either, you know, find out more. And then you come back here and be like, ah, Mayogun, you said it. It is not that hard if you pay attention. It is storytelling. And if you listen, to, if you see some of these uh, Lagos Abobakus that are going to, like a straight dogs, they're going to bump on us soon, eh? They don't want you to understand what is going on around you enough that you can make an informed decision. That's a lot of job. So on Mayegun's diary political tonight, I have uh, an expose that all of us are going to do together tonight. Under Bokwari, APC, Egbekegbe, more Nigerians were killed by terrorists. More Northerners died in the hands of the terrorists. The people of Medubet paid the supreme price trying to what? To stay to be alive in the hands of the invading terrorists. For eight years, as the terrorists are killing their people, the Nigeria military, they were busy killing the people themselves. And in most cases, when the Nigeria military slaughter Nigerians in any part of Nigeria, they will take their bodies away. And the argument will start. If you said we killed somebody or we killed people, where are the bodies? Under Bokowari, APC, Nigeria military, Nigeria Air Force, they bombed mistakenly. Give me one sec. 
That's too loud. I don't want to sit here and reveal all my strategy. <laughs> I am the first speaker among the three of us running. So they will spy on me. <laughs> so you will have a limited answer here today. <laughs> Another day you can bring me back. But that's part of what I do. That's all. Under Bokowari, Nigeria military on record, they bombed 15 villages for more than 28 times, resulting into the death of over a thousand Nigerians slaughtered under Bokowari. There was no reaction. At least we were all alive, are we not? From the northern part of Nigeria. When the Nigeria military were carrying out the bombing of Nigerians in their villages in Imo states, they didn't even put that on record. Therefore, we have no idea how many people Nigeria Air Force bombed. We saw videos where Nigerian soldiers opened fire in burning homes, homes that are villages where poor people live, including disabled people, elderly. We have no record of those. So. But yesterday, or should we say, since this one happened, a Nigeria military in their usual way came back to say, oh, it was a mistake. You know, we are sorry. We are sorry. We will, we will, it will never happen again. Which happened to be the first time in eight years eh, after 15 bombings or 15 villages. Eh, that is going to be the first time the Nigeria military who said they mistakenly bombed a village and the entire northern machinery have been unleashed on Kolu. Now cooking stage then deal. But just before we all become emotional, make a clear this. You see, all of the terrorism you are experiencing in Nigeria today from northern Nigeria to western Nigeria to southern to eastern to every part of Nigeria today is politically motivated. The moment you understand this first, the moment um, you will understand, also you will realize why many of us have completely shut down all expectations that Nigeria has any chance of surviving. You see those Boko Haram, Fulani terrorists, unknown gunmen, and this and that, all these armed criminals in Nigeria, they are all politically sponsored. But for those who control the terrorists up north, you know this story and you know them. Today, hang on, before today, eh? yesterday, one of uh, their cleric, that is how the dog whistle starts. So, one of their clerics in Kaduna said, how come Nigeria military have not mistakenly bomb anywhere? in southern Nigeria, if not because some people, they hate the North and they want to decimate the population of the North by claiming to be mistakenly bombing places. Do you get that? That is the first time. And right now, the campaign up North is that 
Tifnumbu, Muslim, Muslim ticket. And everything they told them, they were all lies. In fact, as they are spreading it now, they are saying that they were safer. Yes, they were safer before Tifnumbu came. Now that Tifnumbu is here, eh? It is obvious. It doesn't give a damn about Northern Nigeria. And that is why it's still, um, systematically, eh? Either mistakenly bombing them or letting the terrorists to take over the Northern Nigeria. They are putting the blame on him. And I'm going to be here to begin this look at all of you, the Ronukus, how you would have to fight this because you would have to start reminding them that what happened to their voices under Bokuwari? How come they didn't speak up? Well, you remember saying me, Mayegun, for eight years, you were wishing me evil because I was uh, exposing all these killings too. I will never stop talking about them. But because it's APC, and you were waiting for your turn, eight years you denied. Eight years you agreed that Bokuwari has secured, I mean, he secured Nigeria better than anybody. Now they are coming back to say, if anybody is kidnapped in northern Nigeria today, it is Tifnumbu who has abandoned them. Now, now so I go consider now they look at all of Una Day. Eh? They tear Una selves apart and say, shut up your mouth. Use this useless. You brought Nigeria down. You have already started it all. But you never enter body very well until they started stoning Tifnumbu in northern Nigeria. He's going to borrow no states. When is that again? Next week? I don't know. Sure, you get they won't bring them to Borono State, but up north in that they are Sharia North, as we speak, as if to say they were all in uh, what do you call that thing that uh, not simulation, that thing that you have to hibernation, like say they are not dead though, but they were not alive, they are just zombies for eight years. Now, suddenly, the bomb just woke them up. Boo! Ha! Ah, who is the press idiot? Oh, Tifnumbu, where is he from? He's from the southern Nigeria. Oh, my God. How come the military of Nigeria never mistakenly bombed the uh, Iwuru Dibadon? They will love that. So that the news, breaking news, 400 people killed because the Nigerian military mistakenly bombed the Iwuru. They are not going to address the failure of leadership, the corruption, and the role all of them played. Baba, politics of the year 2027 have already started. Now, like I said, I get plenty stories for you. And if I turn right, just follow me. Don't say, my Yegun, finish that one. Don't worry. You will finally get everything at the end of the day. If I turn left, you say, follow me. From the grapevine, as you know, eh, leaders, leaders, they, uh, they plan for the next generation. Politicians, eh, they what? They plan for the next election. True leaders, eh, where after elections, Abi, they will be planning and be preparing for the next generation through their work and everything. But politicians, eh? after election, they start planning for the next one. They don't give a damn about you. But some of you would have to be their sacrificial lambs anyway. As it is. From what they are currently, from the grapevine, it be like, say, now waiting happen to Obasanjo go happen to you, call you. How majority of you who have become famous are in the tribal and ethnic league uh, championship, uh, the Champions League, then you will now realize that you would have to then come out and begin to toast your Igbo brother again. Oh, my darling Igbo brother, let us all come together against these northern people. 
the same people you wanted there uh, smoked. And again, that's how their trajectory is going to end because according to them, Southern Nigeria has been ruling Nigeria more than the North since uh, 1999. And as it is, a Southerner does not care if the North perish. A Southerner does not care if uh, the terrorists take over the entire North. Now, a Southerner is responsible for the lives and the insecurity in northern Nigeria. So we need to save ourselves. The North is bleeding and they are all reacting. I'm going to show you something. Number one, right? These are the terrorist leaders in northern Nigeria. Some of you from southern Nigeria don't know them. You know the likes of uh, Asari. You know the uh, likes of uh, Tompolo. You know others like that who have become famous through their own terrorism, uh, pipeline vandalism, and the rest of that, okay, that they call activism. You see all these ones, eh? These are the ring leaders of uh, those who kidnap, uh, ransack villages, uh, kill people, sell uh, women and children into slavery, and all that stuff. These are the people. They know where they are all over Sharia North. They are very popular. Do you get what I mean? They are so popular that people know some of them who have made billions of money from the government of different states in northern Nigeria. They are very popular. And they all have their different, different camps all over the north. Okay? So according to uh, what do you call this man who survived, Six members of his family were killed. Now, the six members of his family that were killed, they were not killed at once. According to him, the Nigerian Air Force came and they bombed the place. Then they came back again with their drone and they dropped another bomb, which means they did it twice. Statement from people like this for the first, excuse me, for the first time that it's going to be politically useful. Eh? And the journey have already started, Abi. Statement from somebody like this is now a very powerful statement that the northern political rogues are now going to use against Kolu. Shetima is begging them, though. Uh -huh. He's begging them that, please, don't let, uh, don't, don't let us turn against ourselves. Don't let them use this blah, 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 blah. But listen to this, is his name Awusa. Tunana Musa Umar. Bala Musa Manga Ronaka Ajikinka. Ona Abu Yarisa de Keni. Yarisa de Nia Labwe. Abu Yafaru. Watu Daka Jifu na Paru Kwang. Tu Shini Munjimuna Sumu Chichi Solang. Sini Sikasaki Jifuwa. Tu Diki Allah Sana de Labong Shang Lua. Shini Yawurga de Nichan Allah Abu Sana Tashi. Nani Pi Asibiti Nijaka Mun. Wana Trust Me. Nani Da Suwa Ye Kuka Kema Wata Nana Paru Kwa Doki. Loko chum muna diwa, the muna tarada had the one that kitchen mulgai jibru, do go tarada chimamiki. Yena musa zai duan, yazai duan, nichi to yazami, tin the alaga commanded the Nalun Gumialuna, Naka gave in Aji in a new machine in the Zid, Okeshi, and Keshas witty, Siaka Saki Jiwa. What we are in Kana, Asibita Halingans. A Yaluna could ever ask with the Sulas to take a good Ashida. The Kashida Sulas. What to buy the Enaka say Kakumaka? Yes, any man else say I've been your son in Salon Carpino. Look at him, whatever Salon Kusan shot any one of our local team. Eh, I could want to keep the Kukasamu the Gaja. Babu, Babu. I have given you the interpretation before I play the video, right? Is a survivor. And a statement and statements from people like him who survived are now very, very, very important to the Northern leaders. And right now, to Dunbiri, in Kaduna, the same Kaduna. Abi, Southern Ka, you know Southern Ka, you remember Southern Kaduna? In that same Kaduna, eh, has now turned to the marker for the Northern politicians, just as I told you.
two, three days ago. Remember, I said, with this, you are going to begin to see them going, trooping down there, taking pictures uh, and all of that for the optics. And now they will be demanding that Tifnumbu must do what Bokowari couldn't give them. And since they know that Tifnumbu has nothing to give them, they will now leverage on that. Ogumba Bere. Mm -hmm. And like I said, hell of fire has came out from hell and is already on the scene, on the move with his friend, Lamido Sanusi. That one with them come out as Emir, but he's still dressing like Emir. Eh? Is that not a, is that, shouldn't that be a crime, by the way? If they sack you as Oba, and you are still dressing like Oba, going everywhere, eh? And they are still doing a rank a day, the rank a day, the rank a day, day for you. Is that not impersonation? Eh? Is that not against the law? Anyway, Sha, everybody is trying to now they care. Ah, oh my God. Ah, they bombed our people. Eh? Ah, see our people as uh, they are so in pain. Look at our people so in pain. Nigeria, why are you can why why Tiff Numbu, why can't you not protect our people? Eh? Why Tiff Numbu, what do you mean by you is you you drum bob or them by accident? They now care for their people. Boy running book well. But it's fine. Now now some of you go understand. Eh? the criminal politics, the evil politics that they play in Nigeria. Okay? Because every day people are being killed by these terrorists. Now you are going to see more of them now reacting and they are now going to be changing the tone to Nassau Dana, they kill them. How come they are not also killing you uh, in Yoruba land, how come they are not dropping bomb on us? I worry about all of you in Niger Delta. How come they have not dropped uh, mistakenly dropped bomb on you? Eh? Uh, in Igbo land, how come they've not mistake? That's what they are saying. That's what they are telling their people. And you know they take time. Don't worry. You go eh? Uh, to build up. But shitty man, who was there? Listen to this man first. Oh. When the military admitted and uh, expressed regret um, is, a, is, is, is a good development because in the past we had series of denials and uh, explaining away which uh, actually show a lot of disdain for the value of life. But um, that is not enough. We are talking about over a hundred people and uh, this incident is quite different from all others in the sense that in the first instance uh, there was a strike that killed people and there were shouts and calls for people and people rushed to the scene to help. And while that rescue was going on, people coming to pick up body parts of their families, uh, another strike happened 30 minutes in between. That is really, really something that we should be worried about. Mm. If the first one was... Shibimi, I told you, I told you that it was not a mistake. Of course it is not. Like many of other things they've done, they've never been a mistake, they've never been mistakes. But what we are saying is that you they have never punished anyone for these uh, lapses that led to people's death, Nigerians' death, ever. And you see these ones who are pushing this, they are not interested in justice. They are not interested. But is it good for political leverage? Of course it is. Can they now start using the insecurity in northern Nigeria to begin to hunt down Tifnumbu? Of course they will do it now. That is why he said, this one is different from others. It's different from others. It's not different from others. It is because the person in charge of Nigeria, which is a fake Nigeria, a fake country, that every one of them is deceiving themselves. They are interested in power. 
Tifnumbu and the rest of them are interested in power. So now, how do you get power? Tifnumbu has played his card. They are about to start playing their own card now. Now, hunger, insecurity, and others now, they are going to matter to them. And me, I want to say to you, I beg no begin the quote them. Ah, my ego, did you hear what the Sultan say? King the Sultan Fesso. You have no idea. When they was they when they were ready for a Biri Julantan, eh? Even his own INEC chairman, person where he appointed, he never met in his life, joined them. And it was too late. And you might say, call Louis, not Jonathan. No, 100 percent no wala. I agree. But now I go no say none of them is really interested in any country. They are interested in taking their turn, including if they have to sacrifice your lives in getting it. These rogues in northern Nigeria brought terrorism. They funded it. They ensured that uh, it took root. I mean, root in uh, northern Nigeria because it was politically advantageous for them. Even when their people are being killed, children killed, you know, kidnapped and sold for sex slaves. They don't care. They didn't care. And they still don't. The era of good luck, it be the Jolantan, that the northern Nigeria will be crying every day. You'll be hearing different, different uh, mosques talking. That era is upon you. You better get ready. Agbadoriansi, the Igbos that you wanted to enter ring with. You will realize that eh, they, are, they are actually the least of your worries. You see those obedient that you wanted to make cry. Eh? You know, say those ones said they are just looking for a better country, working country. That's what they said they are fighting for. Abi, and to you, you want them to cry to have tears as long as call is there, Abi. You better start getting ready for the jihadist propaganda. The ones that will begin to make you having to defend Kolu and begin there, look for what you are going to use in attacking them too. I hope when you do, you please remind them that you are not representing Yorubas because the madness you are currently doing for Tifnumbu right now in the name of uh, Tifnumbu and the rest, and then you are trying to make it a Yoruba versus Igbo nonsense, right? You better begin to get ready because this particular one, oh strong, did you anything, law? And the problem be this. The problem is this. The Lagos Abobakus, Tifnumbu's uh, bad study, mm? they themselves, they know they are in the minority. And that is why, even in Yoruba land, all over Yoruba land, they know they are in the minority. And that is why they are stuck in trade, violence, uh, what do you call it, uh, uh, vote buying, which is, uh, you know, bribery. Violence, bribery, violence, bribery, and forgery. So they know they are not in the majority. And therefore, eh, once you, you see those what they say, eh, eh, what do you call it? The egos are in the middle, circled, according to the, uh, what do you call it? The pangolo brain of these uh, lunatics, right? Now, we now go in the middle. Because even in Yoruba land, eh, when the heat finally hits all of you, plus a shege, a lot of you will be confessing, like person that is possessed. That one is very small. I mean, it's, it's very near. But you see, when this uh, jihadist propagandist begin their own, eh, uh, you know you have already told the Igbos eh, that you will destroy them, destroy their businesses, and you are even like genuflecting on that, Abi celebrating it now at the end of the day now then you go now realize that eh no matter what it is that prompted you to think uh our look on our look on that they are talking about has anything to do with you or not is so near you see when the whole it come from everywhere some of you will begin to display the signs of uh, lunacy 
e ma bere si ni ma 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 shire ko si wala ba po lapo you know ti wala ba po lapo ju o le mu bon ege ni shanku abi ti wala ba po lapo ju o le mu bon ege ni se sho o o le mu bon ege ni sheku from 2024 shitima got the message and according to him is trying to plead with uh, his brothers eh please don't see it that way that was two days ago then i'll come back to what the assault and had to say too i'm here at the behest of president bola Ahmed to come and commiserate to sympathize and empathize with the people and government of kaduna state especially the inhabitants of Tudumbili who were affected by the unfortunate incident a couple of days ago. There is no gain dwelling too much on this incident that has happened. I am here because the president is deeply concerned. He was deeply touched by what happened. As the de late delegate rightly said, let's not talk about the numbers. One life lost in cold blood is as gruesome as millions lost in a pogrom. The heart of the president feels with the bereaved families. We were at the hospital to sympathize with the victims and be rest assured that the federal government stands by the community affected and the government and people of Kaduna State on this unfortunate incident. It's already directed by Mr. President, an investigation is being conducted with a view to preventing a occurrence of the incident, and we expect a report to be submitted within the shortest possible time. I want to register our profound gratitude to our religious leaders, to our community leaders who have served a stabilizing forces in these trying moments. Efforts were made to politicize, to implement passion, but our leaders choose to err on the path of decency, on the path of moderation, on the path of maturity, and I cannot but thank them most profoundly. Incidentally, among them are two of my friends, Dr. Imam Tukur of Al Manar TV and Sheikh Al Misri. They are my very good friends, and I want to thank all of you. Most importantly, the president approved the commencement of the Pulaku Initiative by next month. The Pulaku Initiative is the President's unique response as a non-kinetic solution to the challenges in the Northwest. Beneficiary states are Sokoto, Kebbi, Zampara, Kasina, Kaduna, and for the purpose of equity and justice, we deliberately included Niger and Benue State. Actually, our intent was to kick off the program in Sokoto, but in the light of recent developments, the president directed that the Polaku Initiative should be kick-started here in Kaduna State. <laughs> and Tudumbiri will be the first beneficiary of that scheme. We are going to build houses. We will complement the efforts of the Right Honorable Speaker, but ours is a complete package as well, including houses, clinics, schools, 
veterinary clinics, empowerment initiatives, solar energy. It's a complete package of solutions. It's a non-kinetic response to the problems of banditry and kidnapping in the Northwest. I can assure you that the president meant well for the North. The president meant well for the nation. And I'm quite glad, I want to commend the governor of Kaduna State. What binds us together as a people supersedes whatever that divides us. By bringing under this canopy the leadership of the Muslim Ummah, the leadership of our Christian brethren, it's a testimony that leadership is crucial to the unity and progress of every nation. And this our trying moment, it brought together the two pairs. Usman Dampodio said, a society can thrive on unbelief, but no society can thrive on injustice. Justice, equity, and fairness are the cornerstone of leadership. New Zans, Lili. We will work with you. To build a Nigeria that is not corrupt. I bring you a message of hope. We are going to spend a lot of resources on education. Shitty man. Remember, eh? Tifnumbu will handle economy. Shitty man will handle sink. I mean, will handle uh, security. And Operation Jige, yeah, Bikilo Pelenko, no. Which is going to come and build houses. They are going to build schools. They are going to build their clinics. All bobo. I promise you, all bobo. But it's just similar to when uh, Bukwari said he was also launching Northeast Development Commission. NEDC, something like that. So that uh, they will build houses, they will build schools, they will build clinics for the Boko Haram victims. Instead of building houses and clinics for them, more people joined those people in the IDP camps in Nigeria. I just thought you should not possibly eh, fall for the lie. The politics has begun, and if you are not paying attention, they will use thousands of lives of uh, innocent people to push their 2027 agenda. Abby, and you are getting ready for that, you know. The senators, the lawmakers too, they too had to visit the scene of the bombing. They also donated, I mean, donated 58 million naira to support the survivors, the victims of the military mistake bombing, and they want justice. What do you Thank you. 
In the smoky book, the more you look, the less you see. The more you look, the less you see. Sure, you get every moment must be captured so that you know. Do you know that? I don't know if I've told you this, or maybe you already knew anyway. Do you know that because of insecurity in northern Nigeria, eh, more than 60% of uh, representatives allegedly elected from northern Nigeria never really have uh, real elections, especially in the last 10 years in northern Nigeria? Would you believe as well that most of them, their results, their election result or re-election, what have you, is written right there in Abuja? And do you also know that there are a chunk of them that no longer go back to their constituency anymore because of the insecurity, terrorism, that they stayed away completely? Yes, there are. All this I have told you. Eh? And that is why... Uh, unfortunately, the only thing they want is that power. And how do they keep maintaining that, uh, that fraud and corruption on the rest of the country? It's because they have, they have succeeded in terrorizing their people. Okay? You see that one, those ones that are attacking them and kidnapping people and all of that, those are the physical ones. Physical terrorism. There are already mental terrorism using religion. And these politicians are funding these clerics, these religious houses, these sects, all over North. So all their actions and their world of view, sometimes, right? Because there are so many. Sometimes these politicians themselves, they run into different uh, camp. They all have different uh, sects in Northern Nigeria that they are using Nigeria money to fund. All of these Northern politicians. So the reason why some of them don't go back to the north, they don't go back to their constituency, they live in Abuja, or they will go to their state capital. For example, those who are from uh, Kasina State, Bokwari State, there are some part of Kasina State that are no longer under Nigeria, completely taken over by terrorists. There are some part of Kaduna State that have been taken over by the terrorists, like totally, no longer under Nigeria. Niger State that they mentioned earlier, eh? There are hundreds of different camps, different uh, terrorist groups. So it has become so dangerous that some of these criminal politicians from northern Nigeria, they don't go back there that much anymore. Because if they go back and they go enter another group and I will learn here. Yeah. That's it. That's how bad it is in northern Nigeria. But no, what they want is that power. And right now, the campaign is going to be not, it's only a northerner that can keep the northerner safe, forgetting the fact that in eight years, under a northerner, a Muslim, brainless, brain dead, Manikwin Bokwari, 
more northerners were killed. More northerners became poorer and impoverished. But you see these criminals? They don't give a damn about that. Six months, no power. And it's like this shitty man is not going to live up to expectation.